there. This is Veena from Pataki, the channel that's about baking and much much more. Okay then, let's get cracking with today's recipe. Welcome to Patty Cake. Today I have a popular Goan Christmas recipe for you. Fragrant and tasty bolinas as we call them in Konkani. In Portuguese, these are called bolinhos de coco, meaning little cakes from coconut. And that's exactly how bolinas taste. You'll love them. Another thing, I'm going to show you a much quicker recipe with no overnight resting of the soft dough. And you're going to see how to make bolinas using this quick recipe right here at Pata Cake. We'll start by transferring two and a half tablespoons of soft salted butter to a mixing bowl. Let's whip this with a wooden spoon. We'll now add 180 grams of finely ground sugar to it. Let's mix the two. Next, we'll separate two egg yolks and add them to the butter and sugar. Let's whip the mix well. Here I have 200 grams of grated coconut. That's 2 cups in volume. I'll dry grind it and be back. Here's the ground coconut. You don't need to grind it too finely. This is how its texture should be. Let's mix this with the other ingredients. In this bowl, I have 200 grams of fine rava or semolina. You could also use regular semolina in this recipe. Let's mix this in properly. Now, let's add in one third of a teaspoon of salt. If you've used unsalted butter earlier on, you could make that half a teaspoon. Now, traditionally, the dough is rested overnight to give the rava time to soak up enough moisture and become soft. However, in my experience, two hours is more than enough for the rava to soften and expand in volume. And so, I'll cover this bowl and let the dough sit on my kitchen counter for just two hours. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. After two hours, here's our bolina dough. At this stage, you could mix in a little yellow food color or saffron to give the bolinas a more attractive color. This is optional. I'm adding a little saffron soaked in one teaspoon of water. Let's mix this in well. I'll now divide the bolina mix into two parts. To one part, I'll add half a teaspoon of ground cardamom and to the other, half a teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Let's make sure these fragrant spices are dispersed evenly in the bolina mix. Christmas bolinas have a design engraved on top of them and are traditionally round or oval in shape. We'll make them exactly like that. Now let's shape the bolinas. My baking tray here is lined with parchment paper. And I've greased my palms with ghee for shaping the bolinas. But you could also use oil instead. We'll make round shaped bolinas with this mix. And using the blunt side of a knife, lightly mark a cross on the top of each one. I'll set the bolinas at least one inch apart, for they will expand in size while they are baking. I've finished shaping all the round bolinas. I'll now move them to my preheated oven and bake them at 170 degrees centigrade, that's around 350 Fahrenheit, for around 30 minutes. While that batch is baking, let's make oval shaped bolinas with the other half of the mix. I'll mark horizontal lines on the top of each one. We'll bake these once the first batch of bolinas are out of the oven. These took 28 minutes to bake. 
You know they baked when they change color on the top and the edges of the bottom of each bolina too start turning brown. Bolinas shouldn't be over baked. The longer you bake them, the harder and drier they'll become. I'll transfer these to a wire rack after 10 minutes. I baked these bolinas for 30 minutes. Bolinas are always slightly soft when you take them out of the oven, but they firm up soon. I'll move these two to a wire rack after they've cooled a little. In all, I was able to make 25 bolinas. Time to check how our bolinas have baked. Perfect. Slightly crisp on the outside and nice and soft inside. And so is this one. Believe me, these homemade bolinas are deliciously fragrant and bursting with flavor. Hope you'll bake these classic Goan coconut cookies in your own kitchen well in time for Christmas.